the internet. Welcome back. I am on my way to Texas for reasons unknown. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Picking up a Nissan Stagia um, out in Houston. It's been at the port or in our brokers, I guess you could call them. Possession, even though we got it imported like a year ago, but that's not why we're uh, here today. Thought I could do this in one take, but this phone, you can see it's bouncy. I'm going to have to hold this, but what I want to talk to you about is more Expedition Coyote things and the recent progression I've had this week with programming uh, ECU. I learned some things in Forescan, and when you buy their extended license, it's like twenty whole dollars for a year. The you get access. It's almost like a gray market, but you feel weird. You have to go. You, you have access to their beta version, which allows you to do firmware updates to modules, right from like Ford servers, and it also allows you to do custom firmware updates. You might be thinking. The hell does that have to do with anything with the Coyote and the Expedition? Well, I'll feed you baby birds. So, in learning this, um, and as you may or may not know, the 11 to 14 Expedition Coyote swap has been not only the cheapest swap I've ever done, but like the easiest electronically, besides this whole programming thing. So, I still had a theft light flashing, ABS, and airbag light modules on, and because they had the wrong uh, tune strategy year, the cruise wasn't working. But everything else worked gauges. Uh, AC, heat, all that stuff worked great. Pondering, I was like, well, that Expedition ECU controls the 6R80, the 11 to 14 6R80, but it also controls obviously the 5.43 valve. I'm like, I wonder if I can update the firmware. And it's also called the strategy, which is also kind of synonymous with the tune calibration. With a, uh, so I'm hope I was gonna try and replace or update the strategy with a Mustang automatic tune. And while I was at it, might as well update the year to 11 or 12. I was like, it, it saves me from sending the computer back and forth and having other people help me, which have been great. Um, and you know, needing a specific file, and that's where it got. I had to do some kind of running around, literally. So I want to give a shout out to. Uh, client of mine local in uh, the Phoenix area, Dominic. He has a 2011 automatic GT and he allowed me to go basically take my laptop to his car. The way you update the firmware in Forescan, you have to download the strategy files from Ford and if you like want to do factory or whatever, it'll you drop down. I might show a little screenshot here later. I don't know who's calling me, but we don't need to talk to them. And then it downloads those strategy files right onto your laptop. And the only way to do that is if you have a car to hook up to. So let me hook it up. I downloaded the files and surprisingly it was only one. Like the last CAN bus strategy file was the same between the Expedition and the uh, 2011 Mustang ECU. So I literally only updated one firmware file to the Expedition ECU which was the actual Mustang tune, it was like two megabytes, it took three minutes to flash, and it took it. I built a little, I'll show you in a little picture picture, I built a little um, bench harness to, with a, to hook up to the computer and with an OBD2 port, with the battery, battery clamps and all that good stuff, and did like basically a bench flash. So, and it, it took the, the Mustang strategy. I was like, sweet, bring it to the shop the next day. And I was like, well, I still don't know if this is going to run or not. I kind of, um, on Forescan at the, on the bench anyway, I just wanted to see what PIDs it had. And it had all four camshaft, like, you know, sensor, um, you know, positions and all that stuff for Coyote, but using the original Expedition ECU. And Pats isn't deleted on that ECU either. So put it in the truck, Expedition starts right up like like I had the Mustang ECU in it and two things I've accomplished with doing that one no longer have the cruise control um, code and cruise control works 
light comes on the dash, cruise works indefinitely. The theft light no longer flashes uh, because the instrument cluster module must recognize the hardware ID of the Expedition ECU. So the, the one key that is programmed, I have three keys to this thing, but only one was programmed, um, starts and runs. The caveat is I still have stinking ABS and airbag, airbag lights on. So I can't remember if I told you guys in a previous video when I was breaking down the cost or even before that, but there was this trick with the Mustang ECU even with the Pats deleted, the instrument cluster module was not not happy. That light would flash fast, like as if it was immobilized, but then it would do slow flashes in a certain pattern that just basically gave you codes in that way. And then eventually it would stay off after only like a few minutes of running. And then as long as you were driving, you could cycle the ignition after that light stayed off. And then the ABS traction control, the ABS light would go off, traction control, you could turn on and off and it would work, but the airbag light was still on. Even with the Expedition hardware, but with the Mustang calibration, it's still doing that, but now I don't have a theft light to tell me when it's like ready, you just kind of have to wait this ambiguous amount of time, and it has to be driven, because I think then the ABS module is like, it's powered on, but then it's, I guess, I'm guessing since it's seeing wheel speed signal and, um, and whatnot, and there's some other things I'll get into, uh, but that's so far the best solution I have is to use the Expedition ECU and flash a Mustang strategy on it. Now I, I got this idea. I think I, I did mention I was going to try this in the previous cost down break, cost breakdown video, and that I got the inspiration from Alex Flores because he took a GT500 S197 ECU and flashed a Coyote on it. I was like, yeah, it, may, it makes sense that manufacturers use the same kind of chips just put different calibration on it. So I didn't record any of this because I was just in a trial thing and I short on time, but now I got all the time in the world driving 17 hours in Houston to explain this. So truck runs and drives, all the gears work, cruise control works, everything. Uh, but I'm like, all right. But my instrument cluster module and the ABS modules are still not being shown on Forescan. They're not showing up on the network. So I'm like, well, we got the original Expedition ECU. Let's flash it back to the 5.4 strategy and see if they show up. And they do. I um, was able to get into like the key stuff, you know, for Pats, because that's in the instrument cluster on those trucks. Um, and I saw some interesting codes that I couldn't because it uh, under the, the IC module was that it was like powered on without communication for a while, which makes sense. So then I could add and program keys if I wanted to. I didn't have the time um, at that moment. But then I'm like, well, since the ignition is on and you have it on long enough, ABS and airbag lights go off without starting the vehicle, let's try and flash that Mustang strategy while the ignition is on and it's cleared. Like when you go through the process and it tells you to turn the key on, wait for those lights to turn off and then start flashing. And then maybe the, since the modules are on, it'll do kind of a reset and scan the network, but, and I flashed the Mustang tune back on the Expedition ECU while I was in the truck, of course, and still ended up with the same results. So, I'm really not sure what to do from here. The only other thing I could think of what is, and I don't even think this is possible because it's in the firmware, is if you were able to tune a Coyote with the Expedition strategy, but like I said, they're, you're only going to have two camshafts, A and B, one and two, whatever you want to call them. Um, and we're not going to like lock out cams. That's stupid on a Coyote. So I guess I'm also going to be like, hey, if you guys have any ideas anywhere, someone, someone else had the idea, and I don't have the software uh, adapted for this yet, but was to do a parameter reset on the modules with like IDS or FDJS, um, Ford's uh, programming software. Um, I haven't found an area to do that on Forescan at all, but yeah, if any of you guys have any any clue on how to do that so that I can wake up these modules to kind of make it play nice with uh, the Mustang strategy. Uh, the only other thing I'm going to try is maybe flashing, since I know how to update firmware, is maybe force, because Forescan lets you force the file on this stuff as long as the hardware is compatible. And force maybe a Mustang firmware of the ABS module and airbag module on the Expedition. I know they're probably very different 
you know, it's, we'll see what happens, you know, what's the worst that can happen, Forescan has a recovery mode for, for modules, and if I brick it, then I'm still in the same position that I am now. The really cool part about this is, um, in the future, I'll be able to offer this service. I can, you can send me, if you're doing a 11 to 14 uh, expedition swap, Coyote swap, you can send me your original ECU, and I can put a, a Mustang tune on it so you can run the Coyote. Um, the harness, you know, as you can, it's like 250 bucks for the total expedition package harness for the 11 to 14 to get the engine running and stuff, and you know, have electric steering. And so, I'll probably charge 250 bucks to do that flash process because I feel like it's not, it doesn't take long, but um, knowing how to do it is, uh, you know, the sell point. And the great part about that is that you don't have to do any, you don't, you don't have to get a Mustang ECU, you just send it in, you don't have to do any pads delete, all your keys will work. Yeah, that's another sweet thing about uh, doing the 11 to 14 expedition swap. So I've been playing around, um, you know, getting different firmware files from like my 07 Coyote swap to uh, get manual files and was able to flash those on my, the original 2012 Mustang ECU, just kind of seeing all that works. And then um, I like to, offer paths to lead the future once I get more familiar with HP tuners because I still need their adapter or J2534, whichever it is, adapter to do the paths to lead since HP tuners released uh, that ability earlier this year to do paths to lead with them instead of however, I think it was with FTJS Ford's um, software as well, which is way more expensive. So I'm going to get back on the road here, even though I am already uh, driving. And uh, so yeah, if you guys got any feelers out there of how to fix this problem, and if, do that parameter reset. Even if, yeah, just put it out there and just uh, looking for some help because um, not, I wouldn't say struggle a little bit because we did make some progress, but that's is what it is. So I still got a few tricks up my sleeve to attempt. So yeah, stay tuned. Um, pretty sure the expedition's gonna be a daily soon. I'm not sure if, it's, if life changes. Uh, it's gonna be replace our family vehicle because some other things change in the background. So might not replace our Kia, but so that means it probably be for sale once I get all these bugs figured out, whether or not I get them fully figured out, or if I, it is an absolute dead end, that's to be determined, but it will be for sale in the near future, so uh, yeah, give a thumbs up, do the YouTube thing, consider subscribing, we will see you next time, um, maybe I'll show you what we're picking up, so we'll see you next time.